hi guys very good morning to all of you welcome to the video number 458 and in this video we're going to talk about how to pick up the range from the excel and get it pasted in the powerpoint right so my name is ajay pamar and i'm going to talk about this code today and giving you extreme knowledge about the how to work with the powerpoint and how to control the powerpoints from the vba excel vba this is my channel youtube.com slash c slash ajay kumar parmar and if you are new to the channel or you if you have recently joined then this is the video number 458 and we have got 458 videos on excel excel vba ms access and access vba you can quickly go to the playlist here and you will find all these 45 different different playlists playlist is just nothing it's a, just a you know kind of a, the category uh, for for any specific category if you're looking the the videos you can go and check that category and i'm sure you would find those categories here because we are trying to cover all the topics day by day right so the the, the channel actually um, uh, has the basic level videos intermediate level videos advanced level videos everything is there right now the video which i'm talking about is that this is going to be on the powerpoint so what you can do is when you scroll it down here you would get to see uh, you know this playlist which is called the excel vba connecting powerpoint with excel so let me just click here now if you see that we have got 12 videos on connecting powerpoint with excel and these are all the part wise videos part one part two part three part four part five part six and you can watch all these and then these are the bunch of the very super advanced super duper you know advanced stuff on the on the powerpoint right so the video which i'm going to talk about today in this video also uh, we're going to talk another very 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 important point uh, which i got from one of my subscribers right and uh, her actually name is christy and this is what she has written hi ajay i'm a big fan of your videos i have watched more than 300 videos and watching them every day your work is beyond appreciation and i want to thank you for your best work for all of us thank you so much christy i really appreciate that you've taken out the time to appreciate my work indeed that keeps me going right so my question is around powerpoint i saw the powerpoint series and loved it so much one thing i wanted to ask you is it possible to select the range of our choice whenever code runs and i should be able to pick the range and that range goes in the powerpoint kindly says regards christy so Christy actually is saying that if you have a range, okay, for example, this is a range. By the way, these are all the playlists, guys, because every time you keep on asking me that how to start the learning, these are the videos for you. You can watch in this series. These are all the playlist name. Uh, these are the Excel VBA playlist. These are the Excel playlist. These are the access front end and these are the you know, the access VBA playlist. So you can go and watch in this way in this series, right? So now what we want to do is we want to actually say that users should have a choice rather than we we go in the code and write the program and we say that you know select this range and get it pasted in the powerpoint we want to give it maybe let's say we want to give it a pop-up and that pop-up user can select the range and that range is going to be pasted this is what exactly the idea is all about right so let's go and click on the visual basic guys and i'm going to start my coding here in this module uh, so let's say i just give it a name called uh, my range in powerpoint okay that's that's what i have given it a name so the first thing guys we want to do is uh, you go to the tool and the reference and make sure that you should have a microsoft powerpoint library activated right this is the microsoft powerpoint 16.0 object library you have to activate this right if you're looking for the outlook code then you got to activate this microsoft outlook 16.0 right now it shows activated because i was working on the outlook right but otherwise these are not the by default libraries they are never activated my friends the by default libraries are the first four Visual Basic for Application, Microsoft Excel 16.0, Ole, you know, Automation, and this Office 16.0. These are the by default libraries which you even cannot unmark, you know, uncheck it. If I just click here, you see that I'm not able to uncheck it because they are the default libraries. Now, why I see here 16.0? Because I'm working on Office 2016. If you have a 2013 installed in your machine, then you would see here 15.0. And then accordingly, the version keeps on changing. But that is not the you know uh, the problem area that that's perfectly fine you you choose according to your this you know the version right so i'm selecting here powerpoint 16.0 now this is uh, why we are selecting it because we want to actually open a blank ppt and in that blank ppt we want to go and copy the range from the excel and we want to paste it 
right so now when you talk about the powerpoint basically you you have the hierarchy proper hierarchy system which i have explained in my all the rest of the videos but again i would like to explain you i would like to give you some idea so basically when you talk about the powerpoint you should be very much thorough with the hierarchy system how it works right so in the powerpoint we have the presentation guys and in the presentation we have the slides and in the slides we can insert the shapes as well right uh, different different types of the shapes like text box or rectangular box or maybe a you know chart box so they are different now in this case we are not going to use the shapes we are only going to use this powerpoint and the presentation and the slides because we want to paste the you know these um, the basically the charts in the slides so that is the basically the you know uh, the the area of interest and this is where we are going to work now so what is the first thing i would like to do here is well the first thing i would like to do here is i would like to go and create the powerpoint object so i define this as a powerpoint dot application that's how you define and then see set ppt equals to new powerpoint dot application and then we're going to make it the ppt visible which is i'm going to make it visible true this is how we write now once you have made the ppt visible now what is the next thing you would like to do the next thing you would like to do is you would like to add the presentation to it right so we're going to add the presentation here now to write to to add the presentation i'm actually going to write here a one syntax in fact two two syntaxes and this is how we write so i declare my own object variable which is pps and i say that you got to be powerpoint dot presentation and then this ppt ppress is going to be equals to this is how we add ppt dot presentations dot add so this line you know is going to add the presentation and once you have the presentation on that we can actually go and write the slide so i'm going to write here p slide as powerpoint dot slide and then set p slide equals to and then you're going to add the slide right so in this case now what what i will do is i will just add the one slide because i just want to show you that how to paste the range in the excel of your choice so here this is how we write because slides is a part of presentation so you write p press dot and then you write the slides and then in the slides you uh, press the dot and you write add right so just make sure you add the use the add dot add not the add slide now this is my the first slide I'm going to add and I just keep it the layout as blank right so now what happens when, when, once this gets done you will have the powerpoint getting open so let me do one thing let me show you this first of all and then we'll, we'll, we will move forward so I just uh, save this and I close this now when I run this guy see how it is going to run the ppt dot visible line will make the ppt visible for us you can see in the background do you see that the powerpoint is visible now you're going to add the presentation as well so the moment i run this this is how the presentation gets added you can see that this is the presentation now click to add first slide so we want to add the slide the moment i run this line you can see that in the background the slide is added now once the slide is added the powerpoint job is done now what we will do we will go back to the excel and we will see that where is our range so in order to you know give the pop-up and from there you know user can choose the range what i will do i will declare the i will uh, use the input box so i'm going to write here that let's say my box as range and then my box is going to be equals to application dot input range input box and then you write here enter your range or select your range whatever you want to write so i just write here select range and then comma do you want to give the uh, give any title yes you can uh, default but I'm not going to give anything I just press comma 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 and the last type which is it's 8 I'm gonna write 8 8 means that it is going to be used only for the ranges it's not going to allow any other thing for example it is not going to allow you to select any number or any text well I had talked about this in my input box you know you can go to this um, uh, the playlist called um, I'll show you Excel VBA input and message boxes you can go there and you will have the good understanding of this right how to work with the input and the message boxes i talked about this so it means that you're going to actually use the range only now guys once you have that input box in front of you we would like to um, you know we would like to capture the range of it so i'm going to create, create a variable called var and then that is going to be equals to range and then in the range my box dot address 
so that the address which I have written that should be captured right so you can define here the var as well that dim var as string because range is always going to be in the text form now once you have done that so now we would like to copy this because is, you know this is going to be your the, the basically um, this is the, the range you know which you have selected basically that that we are going to copy it so what I will do is uh, I think uh, what I should do is I should not be using any var variable I can simply say copy because in the range this address is going to come right so I think we don't need the var my apologies so I just go and delete that now let me show you actually so far what we have done so I run this you see that this is how it is going to run and and while I'm recording this video it's it's raining outside <laughs> it's, it's making the pleasant weather isn't it that's that's fantastic right so anyways all right so guys the presentation is added and the slide is added now what will happen when when you when you run this line what happens you have this select range now if I go to the Excel for example if I select the egg you know this Excel and let's say I want to paste this so I select this entire range you know uh, so this is the range you can select now you can see that this D1 to D7 is selected in the input range so this is what I was talking about this my box dot address this is going to give you the that range and it is going to be copied if I run this you see that in the background this is copied now once this is copied you just need to paste it on your PowerPoint in that slide so what you will write here is you will write here P slide then shapes then paste special this is how we use the paste special and then in the paste special you use this bitmap default whatever you want to use I'm just going to use the bitmap and the you know the range is going to be pasted right so let me run this code quickly this is this is basically your code where you every time you would be asked to you know uh, paste the range so I go here and let's say I create the button here insert and I create a shape here I go in the shapes and I click here and I say that right click and then let's go to the assign macro and let's say my range in ppt that's my macro so I'm going to hit on this now see this guys the ppt is going to open which is a blank ppt and then you would be asked about the you know the range this is the range so let's say I select this entire range and I click ok now let's see that if it is going to paste that or not right so let's go to the PowerPoint now you can see that the range is pasted absolutely fantastic right the range is pasted you have a choice now every time so let's say this time the ne next time when I run this code maybe I want to go to in any other sheet that's okay so let's click on this now let's say I want to this time let me click on the Excel back and let's say I want to select this range this time I'm selecting this different range or maybe you can go to any other sheet as well that's all up to you I click OK and there we go so the paste it is pasted and you can see that this is the new ranges you know which we have you know got in here so that's how guys using the input boxes you can actually choose your you know the range so that's it for now I hope I was able to explain you properly and uh, wish you good luck for this code and any queries any anything which is bothering you related to this particular series you can post the comments right below this video and as usual please subscribe to the channel do support me and we will be meeting soon with some another exciting stuff. Thank you so much guys for watching. Bye bye.